So you're thinking about moving to Knoxville, but you want to make sure it would be a good fit for you and your family. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you around Knoxville. I'm going to show you around where I am right now, which is called the South Waterfront. And then um, I'm going to take you to some of the neighborhoods, show you what you can get for your money. And then I'm going to take you and just drive through downtown so you can see what that's like. But, you know, this area right here is a new area of development. It's kind of a revitalization area. Um, a lot of the older original homes in Knoxville were over on this side of the river. And now they have started building these nice apartment buildings over here. But where this is located is right across the river from downtown. I mean, you can see downtown right over there with the high rises. And then, you know, all these apartment buildings across the river. And so, you know, a lot of those are um, majority student housing for the university, which is just on the other side of downtown. But then this area right across the river is being built up with these nice apartment buildings, some nice new condos. And then on Severe Avenue, there are some restaurants, coffee shops, uh, breweries. And so all those things are going in just right behind these condos. And, and so it's becoming a really nice um, little community right over here, right across from where downtown is. And so it's, uh, it's really um, a unique thing for Knoxville, having this newer development so close to downtown. You know, a lot of the, the downtown buildings have been kind of old and run down for a long time, but the last few years, it's really started to um, get revitalized. And so that's great to see. But you know, this is right along the river here. You can see the marina right across through here. And so, you know, these apartments over here are gonna be finished up in the next few months. And they have this nice view out over the river. And then where I am right now is actually a little park that runs along the river. And so it's a nice place just to hang out. It's got a playground for the kids. You can see there behind me. And then just a walking trail that runs along the, the riverfront here. And so really this is, this is a nice place just to hang out. This over here on this side of the river is known as South Knoxville. And then downtown is of course right over here. And what I want, what I want to do is take you to a few of the neighborhoods that are over this way. One, Sequoia Hills and show you what that, that's one of the, the older neighborhoods in Knoxville, but it's got a lot of really nice older homes on large lots. And then I'm gonna take you to a couple of the newer neighborhoods, show you what you can get for your money where new homes are being put in. But if this is your first time on this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Tennessee, tap that subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. So you'll be the first to learn about the market here in Tennessee. You know, my name is Forrest McCullough. I'm a real estate agent here in Tennessee. I get calls, texts, emails every day from people looking to make the move to Tennessee and I absolutely love it. And so if that's you, whether you're looking to move next week or next year, Feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email, or you can even schedule a Zoom call with me and that way we can meet face to face. But all my contact information is in the description below, but I'd love to connect with you. I'm happy to answer any questions and you know help you find the right community to call home, whether that's Knoxville or another area around Tennessee. Help, happy to help you make that move to Tennessee. But again, these, these apartments back here are coming in and they're gonna have availability coming very soon. And so if you're looking to rent, you know, that can be a great option. Of course, there are many others um, in the Knoxville area as well, but I'm gonna take you and show you what you can get for your money as far as purchasing a home. And then after that, I'll take you and drive through downtown so you can see what that's like, but let's go check it out right now. All right, so this is Sequoia Hills where I am now. And the reason I wanted to take you here first is because this is one of the the older established neighborhoods in Knoxville. And, you know, if you're looking for a new construction home, we can definitely get you hooked up with that. And I'm gonna take you to several of the new neighborhoods, show you what you can get for your money. But this right here, the reason I wanna take you here is a lot of those new neighborhoods, what I'll show you is the lot sizes are really pretty small. So if you are looking for a new construction home, we can definitely get you that. If you're looking for a nice large lot, then you may wanna look in one of these um, older, more established neighborhoods. And you can look up here behind me, these nice large lots along this boulevard here. And so 
you know, if that's what you're looking for, then one of these older established communities is probably going to be where you want to look. And so this one's Sequoia Hills. There are several more great communities like this. This one in particular is cool because it has something at just about every price point. So towards the middle, there are some condos and smaller homes. And, you know, those are priced starting around uh, 250000 They're all older, um, but most of them are updated and in very good shape. And then, you know, out here you have homes up to two, three, four million dollars. And so there's really everything in here, you know, whatever price point you're wanting to get in at. And then the other thing about Sequoia Hills is it's got this great boulevard that runs through the middle with this walking trail and running trail. I mean, you'll see people um, running through here any time of the day, um, walking their dogs. And so this is one of the great things about Sequoia Hills. And again, this is uh, going to have homes at every price point. And so, you know, if you're looking for that older, more established neighborhood, this could be a great option for you. All right, so this is the first of the new neighborhoods I'm gonna take you to. And the homes in here are gonna be in the 400,000s. And then I'll take you to some different price points as well after this, but the homes in here are gonna be in the 400,000s. They're gonna be around 2,000 square feet. Uh, most of them are three bedroom, uh, two and a half or three bathroom. And this is built by Worley Builders. So Worley Builders is a local builder here in this area. And so all these homes in here are built by Worley builders and you know they're nice little 2,000 square foot homes they're well built and they have you know tasteful finishes on the inside and outside and so you know this is kind of what you can expect to get for that four hundred thousand dollar price range and so you know if that's what you're what you're looking at then this is a, a great community you know there are a bunch more that are built by some of the big builders like DR Horton and um, other builders like that. But I wanted to take you in this one. This is uh, a really nice one with some more uh, unique homes and this is kind of what they look like. And so, you know, this again is that $400,000 to $500,000 price range. And I'm gonna take you over and look at some other price ranges. And the next one will be in the uh, seven and 800,000 and then we'll look at some that are going to be in the 900,000 as well. So let's go take a look at those. If you want a five bedroom home, but you don't want to spend a million dollars on it, this community that I'm in right now could be a great option. So the homes in here are four and five bedroom. They are between 3000 to 4,000 square feet. And, you know, they're in the six and 700,000. And so, you know, for a home, it's around 650 to 700,000. You can actually get a five bedroom home. And so, you know, this is a great community to be able to do that in. The next one I'm gonna take you to has some similar sized homes, but they're gonna be closer to a million dollars. So again, if you're looking for that 3,500 square foot home, maybe 4,000 square feet with five bedrooms for under a million dollars, you know, you can find one in here for six or 700,000. And this is what they look like. You know, this is uh, a community that has a bunch of development still to go. And so if you think this might be a good fit for you, you know, I mean, there are tons of homes that are going to be coming in all through here. I mean, this is only a, a small portion of it that you can see back through here. But so if you're looking for that larger home in the six or seven hundred thousands, you know, this is a great one to look at. This is called the Reserve at Hickory Creek is built by Ball Homes. And Ball Homes has several more communities in the Knoxville area. They have some that are gonna be in the 500,000s and then some in here up to the six and 700,000s. And so, uh, you know, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, but you like this style and you wanna be in that $500,000 price range, then, you know, Ball Homes is gonna have something for you. Right now, what they're doing is they're only selling homes that are uh, ready to move in but what they've done in the past and what they tell me they may start to do in the near future again is to sell some before they're complete and allow the buyer to pick out some of the finishes and so that's something that may be coming in the near future but that is something you can do with the next builder i'm going to take you to so let's go take a look at the next one if you're wanting something in a similar size range to what we just looked at but a little bit higher end um, this community right here built by saddlebrook is uh, a great example of something you can get 
in the eight and nine hundred thousands and even over a million dollars and these homes are around three thousand thirty five hundred square feet again you're gonna be able to get you know the four bedrooms the three and a half bathrooms and so a little bit larger but again it's it's going to be a little bit higher on the price range because they are a little bit higher end on the finishes and so you can see out here on the outside they've got hardy board and stone and brick on the outside and so nicely finished on the outside and then um, they're actually semi custom and so you can you can have them design it to how you want it as they finish it out and so they do sell some ready move in homes and so if, if you're in a hurry and you just need to buy something quick they have those available but they have the semi custom option to where if you want to design some of it yourself you have the option to do that this is saddlebrook and they have uh, several other neighborhoods that they're building in the knoxville area and so if this is the style you're looking for if this is a price range that uh, eight and nine hundred thousand dollar price range then saddlebrook can be a great option for you they have another community with homes a few others with homes uh, similar in this size and price range and then they have another community with homes in the 2500 square foot range three bedroom and those are going to be in the 700 thousands and so if you want that semi custom then saddlebrook properties is a great option for you and by the way this particular community this is what you know one of the things that east tennessee is known for that mountain view out the back there and so obviously these homes that are up here on the top along this ridge are going to be a little bit more expensive you know a little bit over a million dollars as they have that view that looks out over there but just for this for this style and size of home you're going to be looking at the eight and nine hundred thousands and so you know those are kind of the the different things you can expect in the different price ranges here in uh, this area in the knoxville area and so last thing i'm going to do is just take you over to west knoxville the commercial area and you know show you a little bit of that and talk to you about that for a second so let's go check it out right now all right before we go to west knoxville to finish up this is downtown and this is one of the bridges coming into downtown you can see the skyline out there in the distance and this is going to go right through the middle of downtown the main road that goes through the middle and where you're going to find you know a lot of the restaurants and the office buildings the hotels all that sort of stuff but you know this is the historic downtown so it's a pretty cool area you know you can see the hotels the office buildings the the condos that are along through here the park on the left side there the movie theater on the right and a lot of these buildings are really old some of them are newer and updated but you find that historic charm this part's known as the old city and this is one of the the fastest growing areas of downtown right now but that just gives you a little idea of what downtown knoxville looks like all right so other than downtown knoxville does have quite a bit going on as far as like shopping and restaurants and grocery stores so you saw the downtown is a nice downtown area has some great restaurants a few shops and things like that but then this is west town mall and you can see it's got you know this mexican grill here behind me and the cheesecake factory and then of course all the department stores and the other stores that are in there so that's west town mall and then across the street here there is another another shopping center with several more stores a Kohl's department store and several more things and then Turkey Creek is out in Farragut and it has uh, way more than than this mall does um, so that's a huge shopping area out in Farragut and you can check out my video on Farragut I'll link it in the description below but so this is a nice shopping mall Turkey Creek is great and so as far as your shopping and your grocery stores um, you have pretty much everything you can need. We have a Costco that is um, right down the road from here as well. And so really everything you can need, you know, you're not going to get shopping like you would find maybe in New York City or Nashville or a really large, large city. But um, there's a lot going on here. And so, you know, if you're thinking about moving to Knoxville, um, feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I'd be happy to connect with you, answer your questions. If uh, you're thinking maybe another community in Tennessee would be better for you, 
be happy to help you find that community and happy to help you make that move to Tennessee. But other than that, I will see you on the next video.